Okay, so in this discussion, we'll be talking about set proof templates and induction. Okay, so first we have here the definition of a set. So a set is a collection of so it is a collection of objects called elements. So for example, if we are going to say a set of numbers from one to five, so we could write that one. We should have first the color of our pen no? so we could write that one as uh, so we could write that one as one two three four five no then oh, maybe we could also have that one in a visual form no? we will form here a circle and we could write here one two three four five no? so that is still equal we could represent our set as a single letter a single variable a so this is how we are going also to represent our set no we could have that one as a list no so this is called the list notation no? of course we'll be tackling also this one later on and this is the visual no? uh, visual representation So one property of a set, so set can be infinite or finite. So for example, we have here set A is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So it is, fin uh, it is a finite set because it has a beginning and also an end. So here we have only a set which starts from 1 and covers up to 8 only. So this is a finite set. While set B, no? set B, which elements are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so on and so forth. So this is what we called as ellipses, no? which denotes as so on and so forth or continuously. So this there is no end no? for this for the elements of set B. So this set is what we called as infinite. Okay. So the rules, no? If you are going to list a set, so Repeated elements are only listed once. So, for example, we have here, we have a set, we have a set, so we have set 1, 2, 3, 3, 7, 7, 3. So, as a rule, we only list elements once, no? So, for example, for that one, we should uh, simplify our set as you have 1, Two, so we have three. No, our three is repeated three times. So just write only three, then seven. So seven is repeated twice, okay. and that will be the set. So we no need to write the same element, um, the same, uh, the same element repeatedly. No, just write that one once. Then there is no order in a set. So what we call as order. So we we could write our set in only in any order we want. So there is no standard order. So meaning uh, you could write that our set in ascending order, in descending order, or in random order. So for example, we have 9, 10, 11. So we could write our 9, 10, 11 as 10, 9, 11. That is still correct. Or we could write that one as 10, 11, 9. Okay. Or we could also write this one as 11, 9, 10, and in any other order that we want. No? This 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 sets are the same set. Their order is just at random or at different order from each other. Okay. Then we have elements and sizes. So for example, we have here our set. No? This is our set. Okay, so uh, we have our set A. No? Our set A contains subjects. No? We have math, science, and English. So of course, there is, this is a finite set because we only have three. No? Three elements, that is math, science, and English. And it, and it is not followed by an ellipsis. So meaning, this is a finite set. So... Math is an element of A. So how we are going to express that math 
is an element of A. So, to express that one, so we just have that one in a notation. No? Notation. So, we could say that math is an element of A. So, this one denotes this is an element. No? Meaning an element. So, this is known as an epsilon. No? Small letter epsilon. A Greek letter. No? Small letter Greek epsilon. No? Then, PE is not an element of A. So, how we are going to express that one? So, first, to check if really PE is not an element of A, we need to go back to our set, no? Math, Science, English. And for this one, uh, PE is not listed on this set. So, it is true that PE is not an element of A. So, we could write that one as PE, epsilon, then slash, no? So, meaning this, this is not, no? Not an element of A. So, PE is not, because we put the slash here, that will denote as not an element of A. The next is the size of set A. So, when we say the size, that is the number of element present inside the set. Now, for this one, how many element? One, two, three. So, the size of set A, so that is denoted by this one. No? The size of set A, you could also write that one as this one also. Okay. One, I know, it's not... Uh, this is math, science, and English. No, you continue that one here. Okay. The size of that one is equal to three. Okay. So that is how we are going to know the elements and to denote that as an, uh, an element is an element of a certain set or not, and how to get the size of a set okay next we will go to special sets no we have here the notation for special sets so we have first this notation no this notation it denotes the set of natural numbers so what we, what what do you mean by set of natural numbers no a set of natural numbers are all um are all non-negative, no? Non-negative, non-negative numbers or non-negative integers, no? So we list that one. For example, uh, the set of the set of natural numbers is this one. No? We just first put our brace. No, this is a brace. So, we have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, comma, so on, and so, so forth. So, that is the list of natural number or a set of natural numbers. So, this is an infinite, no? infinite set because as we all know that uh, numbers has no finite size no so if you are going to go to uh, some other branches of mathematics so the largest number accepted in math is infinity so therefore a set of natural numbers is infinite no then we have z no the set of integers so when we see set of integers it includes negative no negative and none negative numbers so when we say negative and non-negative numbers so we could write that one so we have a set z no so we just put here our bracket no so epsilon eps uh, ellipsis in comma we begin with negative 3 negative 1 0 1 2, 3, comma, so on and so forth. So, meaning, this side here is infinitely, no? infinitely continu uh, continuing. And also, this one here is 
continually uh, uh, it is also continuing um, infinitely no? because the the set of positive numbers continues no it is continuous no and the set of uh, negative number also continues infinitely okay next we have the set of rational numbers so when we say rational numbers that is numbers uh, including or includes or includes fractions no so from the root word ratio so it means fraction so for example if we have here this one so we could have that one as So we can have that one as one half, one eighth, one third, so on and so forth. No, includes all set of rational numbers, or includes all elements of which are rational numbers. Then lastly, we have the set of real numbers. So what do you mean by the set of real numbers? So the set of real numbers. So it will include all numbers no? all continuous numbers no? all numbers with uh, with decimal or with or can be written as decimal no? like decimal point no so for example we have this one so we could have that one as 0 0.01 0 0.02 0 0.03 0 0.001 so that this is a set of real number which is denoted by this symbol okay and the last one is an empty set no so an empty set is a set with no elements okay so how we are going to write an empty set or how we are going to make a list notation of an empty set so we just do it like, like this one okay then we have we put our brace okay. then we put again here another brace meaning this is an empty set so if you were going to put here zero so because you say empty so empty means zero so it, this notation here will not become an empty set because you have an element inside the brace which is zero and an empty set has no elements also its size no so the other term for size by the way is cardinality no? cardinality so the size or the cardinality of this one is equal to one but if an empty set the size or the cardinality of an empty set is equal to zero so meaning there is no element inside our set but if we are going to denote our set as this one with zero inside we have now a element which is zero so the proper way to denote an empty set is just having these two braces no, without any element inside so those are the special set okay so now we will have the set theoretic notation so this is how we are going to um to represent our set or how we're going to list our set so first we have here the list notation which we are also introduced a while ago so for example we in this one we are just going to list no the elements on the on the set so for example we have here a set a no set a contains the numbers 1 2 3 4 5 so this is a list notation the other one is just describing the elements of some property they satisfy no that is not the but they satisfy for example a mathematical theory no? which they satisfy for example if we're going to have this one in 
in a set notation or in this type of notation so we could write that one as a is equal to so we will put here our brace no? okay put here our brace and you could say x such that so this colon means such that x is an integer integer then an x is greater than i uh, know because x must be greater so x is greater than zero and x is less than six no? so these are the rules no? this is how we are also to describe our set a so x uh, x such that no so it, it is read that the set of all numbers denoted by x such that x is an integer so meaning it is a positive no positive number and x no is greater than zero meaning the first element must be equal to one and x is less than six so the last element will be five so this is the second uh, method or the second uh, way on um, describing our set okay then the third one is describe the elements as a set of elements in some other set that satisfy some proper some properties okay so how are we going to do that no so we will describe our element as a set of all elements or other elements no so i'm going to do that so we just write here a so for this one we will use the special sets so this one huh? so because um our given or our our first set is this one no? the last notation these are all natural numbers so we'll use the set for natural numbers so we could write that one as um, x is a set of natural numbers no natural numbers so let first correctly my natural number okay. natural number so so such that x is greater than 0 and x is less than 6 okay so that is how we are going to describe also our set as a set of other elements so this is the difference this one here no so we are expressing our element which is x as, as as an element of a much larger set which is a set of natural numbers okay so maybe we should have another example on expressing here this set no expressing our set into different sets maybe we should have here an example no okay so we just write first here our um, example no okay let x be the set of all students at a school let a be the set of students students who are first year first year students okay first year students and C the set of students 
enroll in discrete we should write first legibly the discrete here okay. discrete structures one okay express in set actually take notation take notation the set of students which are all first year and uh, which are all first year enrolled in discrete structures one okay so we have here the an example no let x no big letter x be the set of all students at a school let a be the set of students who are first year students and c so this is a big letter c no so that will be confused with a small one just write that one legibly no c c the set of students enrolled in discrete structures one so the question is we are going to express in set in set theoretic notation the set of students of set we put a first year no the set of first year students which i'll uh, okay it's okay it's okay so we do, we do need to put here the first year because we already the first year so we need to express in set theoretic notation the set of students which are all first year enrolled in discrete structures one okay so how to express this one in set theoretic notation of course we have three no three methods no so but for us to know how to what type of uh, notation we are going to use is for us to first analyze the problem so if we are going to use the less notation no? the less notation way of um, um, presenting our set so from the giving problem we don't know what are the elements inside a set no because we are only given three sets no x which is a set of all students no and also a which is a set of first year students and the last one is c which is the set of uh, students in, enrolled in discrete structures one if we are going to have here as describing the role no the role we don't know what is the rule no because we could not say that um, x is a set of all uh, x is uh, x are students the a is uh, greater than or smaller than we could not say that but the last one will be describing this one as a set no as an element of another set because this is very practical for that uh, type of notation because we are given with different set now for this type of problem because we are given with sets we need to uh, use the third one which is we're going to go back describe the elements as the set of all elements in some other set that satisfy some properties okay so we have here now so how we are going to answer so first we should write here no solution so we should, we should first try to have the graphs of our set no so we have here our x no this is a set no this is a set of a set of all students okay in our a is a set of first year no first year students okay 
and we have C which is a set of students enrolled in discrete structures 1 so we need to express our set no suppose set let's have that one as set um, D no? set D our set D must be a set of students so we will represent our element no, of that set as small letter X no because the set of all students is a is a big letter X no a set of students so meaning this element contains this X here are the set of students no so we need to express as a student here into another set which is this one which are the set of all students so right here our epsilon big letter X such that okay such that the rule now what are the rule so first it must be first year no first year student so X must be also an element no so X is also an element of first year students or a which which is a is a set of all first year student okay and the other condition are enrolled in discrete structures one so x is an element also of what is the set that cons that contains students enrolled in discrete one this set c so set c okay and that is now our set theoretic notation for the example here no so as a review so the first one is we express our set our element as a set no as an element of another set which is for well, this one x is a student so meaning if x is a student so it is a member or, is, or it is part of a set of all students so that's why we have this one as x is an element of big letter x which is a set of all students such that x is also an element of a which is a is first year students because we are um, we are um, considering only first year students enrolled in discrete structures one so that's why also and x is an element of c in which c is a set of students enrolled in discrete one so this is now the expression of a set uh, a set of students which are first year enrolled in discrete structures one okay so i hope you understand something in this video no so i hope you will be able to express no the uh, sets no? express sets into the set theoretic uh, notation and also be able to um, to to present a certain element into a set and also to get the cardinality or the size of a set no on the next video and discussion we'll be also going to proof templates and induction so for this one we are just focusing on the introduction of set theory okay so i hope you understand something in this video and as always enjoy learning